Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is advancements in wound dressing using nanofibers. We all know that wound dressing is important in the wound healing process because it protects the wound from further exogenous microorganisms and pain. When changing wound dressings, the wound dressing should be carefully selected to avoid secondary trauma and damage. Before we get into the topic of advancements in wound dressing using nanofibers, we must first understand some fundamentals. Understanding the structure of the skin is critical for determining the depth and severity of the wound. We know that, the skin is the largest organ in the human body and is made up of three layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. The topmost layer is epidermis. The epidermis is further subdivided into five layers, the stratum corneum, the stratum lucidum, the stratum granulosum, the stratum spinosum, and the stratum germinativum. The epidermis is made up of keratinocytes, melanocytes, Langerhans, and Merkel cells, which aid in body temperature regulation. The second layer is dermis, dermis further classified into two types based on its distance from the epidermis, known as the papillary region and the reticular region. Hair follicles, sweat glands, sebaceous glands, apocrine glands, lymphatic and blood vessels are all found in the dermis. It is made up of connective tissue and serves as a cushion for the body against external stress and strain. The hypodermis is a subcutaneous tissue that lies beneath the dermis and is made up of fibroblast, macrophages, and adipocytes cells. It helps to connect the dermis to the bones and muscles. The wound can be defined as an interruption in normal anatomic structure and function caused by thermal, physical, mechanical, or electrical damage to the skin. External damage causes superficial wounds above the subdermis or deep wounds that can damage the dermis, epidermis, and hypodermis. Classification of wound. The wound is classified according to various factors, such as, according to healing time, depth of wound, complexity of wound, mode of injury and wound tissue. Wound healing stages. Wound repair is a dynamic process that primarily consists of four biological stages, such as hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling, which occur sequentially but overlap. Hemostasis, which occurs at the site of blood loss in the wound, is the initial reaction after an injury. The second stage is inflammation, which lasts from 24 hours to 4 to 6 days and begins with the release of proteolytic enzymes and pro-inflammatory cytokines into the wound area by invasive immune cells, and these inflammatory cells produce reactive oxygen species to protect the organism from bacterial infection. At this stage, neutrophils and macrophages remove all foreign bodies and tissue debris from the wound bed, preventing infection. The third stage is the proliferation stage, which involves the formation and growth of new granulation tissue in the wound area to form the new extracellular matrix. The final stage of recovery is remodeling. At this stage, the matrix composition changes, with collagen 3 being replaced by collagen I, resulting in increased tensile strength of new tissues. Any interruption in any of the wound healing phases may cause each step to be delayed, resulting in an unsatisfactory outcome and the development of a chronic wound. Wound self-healing is slow and susceptible to infection, therefore, appropriate wound dressing is required to promote and guide the healing process. Classification of wound dressing On the basis of the affinity of dressing towards the wound, wound dressings are divided into four categories, passive dressing, interactive dressing, advanced dressing, and smart dressing. Electrospinning Nanofibers are most widely fabricated via electrospinning, due to its simplicity, reproducibility, and cost efficacious. I have already uploaded one tutorial on nanofibers, if you are new to my channel, please see the description box. Advanced Wound Dressing A drug-loaded nanofiber is a component of an advanced interactive dressing, that can treat bacterial infections. Drugs can be integrated into three different types of nanofibers, drug-loaded uniaxial electrospun nanofibers, drug-loaded biaxial electrospun nanofibers, and drug-loaded triaxial electrospun nanofibers. Drug-loaded nanofibers have been most typically manufactured in recent years using a coaxial electrospinning process with a core shell configuration. The drug is in the core, while the polymer matrix is in the shell. The drug release profile of core shell nanofibers is affected by shell thickness, polymer, and drug wettability, linear or cross-linked matrix, biodegradability, porosity, and other factors. Among different electrospun nanofibers, 
the triaxial electrospun fiber-based scaffold exhibits improved drug release due to its dual barrier layer, which slows drug diffusion from the scaffold. Multiple drug incorporation is also possible due to its high specific surface area, high porosity, oxypermeability, and bacterial resistance. Because there is limited research data on triaxial nanofibers dressing in the world, this could be a potential area of research in the future. The dressing can be designed in such a way that it contains a combination of drugs and biological molecules that are released according to wound healing stages and aid in individual stage wound healing. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.